The Battle of Bayou Fourche, also known as the Battle of Little Rock, was the most decisive battle of the Little Rock campaign. Background The Battle of Bayou Fourche was the culmination of a campaign launched by Major General Fred Steele on August 1, 1863 to capture Little Rock, Arkansas. The Little Rock campaign included engagements at West Point, Harrison's Landing, Brownsville, Reed's Bridge, and Ashley's Mills. Battle. On September 10, 1863, Steele sent Brigadier General John Davidson's Division of United States Cavalry across the Arkansas River to advance on Little Rock while he moved against Confederate States forces entrenched on the north side of the river. In his thrust toward the state capital, Davidson ran into Brigadier General Marsh Walker's Division of Cavalry commanded by Colonel Archibald Dobbins, at Bayou Fourche, aided by field artillery from the north side of the river. Davidson forced Dobbins out of his position and sent the defenders fleeing back to Little Rock, which fell to the U.S. Army that afternoon. Aftermath Major General Sterling Price, commanding at Little Rock, fell back to Arkadelphia on the 14th and eventually re-established his command at Camp Bragg, Arkansas. Governor Harris Flanagan relocated the state capital to Washington, Arkansas, where it remained for the rest of the war. The fall of Little Rock sealed Arkansas' fate and helped to further demoralize Confederate citizens west of the Mississippi River, further isolating them from the rest of the South.